finding the area of a parallelogram is startlingly similar to finding the area of a triangle. Whereas the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, a parallelogram actually will be the area, A for area, is just plain old base times the height. So it's a little bit like, uh, it's a rectangle, but of course the sides are a little bit askew. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the base, one of the sides, and then the height is aligned perpendicular to the base at 90 degrees. So you can see in this example here, this height that I've just written there, that's at 90 degrees from this base. So that's what perpendicular means. They meet at a 90 degree angle. So this one here, we've had to extend the base. This is the base side here. We've extended the base now so that we can see here where we can get that 90 degree angle. And that's our height. We did the same with triangles. It's useful when you have triangles that aren't that you aren't easy, like there's no way I could draw any 90 degree angle in there to make that work. So let's look at how we actually get it. Get it happening, we're gonna get it happening. So for the first one, remember the area equals the base times the height, when two letters are next to each other in algebra, and from now on, we multiply them. So here, we're gonna say our base is 12 meters, and we don't write meters yet, and then we're gonna multiply that by the perpendicular height, by, you know, seen by that right angle there times 5. And of course, we can easily work out in our heads that 12 times 5 is 60, and we make sure for our final answer that we put in the unit, which is meters. For this one over here, let's make our base be 2. So again, we always start with our formula, so we make sure we're substituting the right stuff. We're looking for the area. And just to remind you, the area is all of this space in here. The, the perimeter is the outside line, so we're looking for the space in there. So if we have 2 as our base, we're going to multiply by the height, and the height as perpendicular to this baseline, which we have extended here, shows us that it's 3. So that's 2 times 3. The area in this case is 6 centimeters. That's all there is to it. Have a good time.